Permutations. In this module, you will learn about permutations. Consider three blocks A, B, and C. In how many ways you can arrange these blocks? When you select the first block, you can choose from all the three. When you move on to select the next block, you have only two to choose from. Finally, for the last block, you are not left with any choice. It's the only one that remains. So, by the fundamental principle of counting, we get six different arrangements. Here, the order of arrangement of blocks is important. So, each arrangement is called the permutation of three different blocks taken all at a time. You can define permutation as an arrangement in a definite order of number of objects taken, some or all at a time. What if you had six blocks? According to the previous procedure, permutations are equal to the product of first six natural numbers. This calculation will consume a lot of time. To avoid such lengthy calculations, factorial notation is used. You can represent the product of first six natural numbers by six factorial. This helps you deduce that the symbol n factorial represents the product of first n natural numbers. Also note that zero factorial is equal to one as there is only one way to do nothing. Again, look at these six blocks. What happens if you want to choose your three most favorite from these six? How many permutations would we have then? For the first block, you can choose from all six. For the next, you can choose from the remaining five and for the third choice, you can pick one from four. So, for this choice of blocks, you have six into five into four permutations but this isn't 6 factorial. Observe that product of 6, 5 and 4 is equal to 6 factorial by 3 factorial or you can say it is equal to 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 whole factorial where 3 represents the number of blocks chosen from 6 blocks. This helps you derive that if n is the number of different objects and r of them are to be arranged in an order, then permutations are equal to n factorial upon n minus r whole factorial and is denoted by npr. Note that value of r is always greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to n and repetition of objects does not occur. Now look at this number lock on the briefcase. You can select any number from 0 to 9 on each of the dial. If repetition of numbers is allowed, then each dial can choose a number in 10 ways. So, permutations of 3 numbers are 10 into 10 into 10, that is, 10 cube. This helps you deduce that the number of permutations of n different objects taken are at a time where repetition is allowed is n raised to the power r. Assume that you have two red marbles and one green marble. The two red marbles are of same kind but if we treat them as different marbles the number of permutations of three different marbles taken all at a time is 3 factorial. Note that corresponding to each permutation we have two factorial permutations which are exactly same permutation if the two red marbles are not treated as different. In order to remove all of the duplicate permutations, we simply have to divide the total number of permutations, that is 3 factorial, by the number of identical permutations of red marbles, that is 2 factorial, and number of identical permutations of green marbles, that is 1 factorial. This helps you derive that the number of permutations of n objects 
where P1 objects are of one kind, P2 are of second kind, and so on, PK are of kth kind, and the rest, if any are different kind, is n factorial upon P1 factorial into P2 factorial, and so on, till PK factorial. In this module you have learned that the permutation of a set of objects is the number of different ways they can be ordered. The number of permutations of n different things taken r at a time where repetition is not allowed is denoted by npr and is given by npr is equal to n factorial upon n minus r whole factorial where r is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to n. n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and so on up till 1. 0 factorial is equal to 1. The number of permutations of n different things taken r at a time where repetition is allowed is n raised to the power r. The number of permutations of n objects taken all at a time where P1 objects are of first kind, P2 are of the second kind, PK objects are of the kth kind, and rest if any are all different, is n factorial upon P1 factorial into P2 factorial, and so on up till PK factorial.